Hello everyone, I'm quickly going to show you everything that's changed in the 1.1 update. Um, I've turned off the sound for now of the car um, just to make it a bit easier uh, to walk you through these steps. So uh, first off, in general systems we now have stair speed so we can adjust um, the speed at which we actually steer um, so you can make it smoother, faster, um, etc. Um, we've got um, new input settings and this is actually a huge change um, so not only can you now set the key for acceleration I've actually reworked the entire acceleration braking and reversing um, compared to um, the first release so I've played a bit of Forza Horizon 5 and you know realized I needed to change it um, so uh, I'll show you how that works in a bit, but yeah, obviously you can set this to a WS like before. You can set it to whatever you want, um, but yeah, I'll walk you through some of the changes in a bit. Um, then uh, second, we've got a new um, interior camera. So I had to create my own script as a camera mode. It didn't really uh, work for this end. So um, again, you'll, you'll see in a bit that it works the way it's supposed to so when you're in the interior and it you know rotates along with the z-axis um, then we have uh, some options as well so basically once we drive um, you know once we start speeding up the field of view will get bigger um, smaller when we um, speed down um, gives you an impression of speed basically um, we've got uh, the option as well to um, look around um, with two buttons again you can set these to something else if you prefer um, but looking around basically um, again like in a lot of racing games or similar type of games you can use uh, these buttons to uh, to have a look so um, let me actually uh, show you uh, these changes in action cool so like I mentioned before I, I turn off the sound um, just to make it uh, a bit easier um, yes we've got some uh, entering animations uh, and exiting animations as well so um, let me turn on the sound so you get a better impression of what I changed with um, acceleration and uh, braking so um, now when we're driving and I brake you know we brake I hold the button we reverse and if I accelerate now we brake as well and we go forward again um, seems pretty basic, but yeah, it's a it's actually a really big change as to how the system worked before, and this is how uh, how it should be. Then um, we've got the uh, interior camera as well, so um, we're using Game Creator's IK system for the hands, and this is the speed up I mentioned before. Um, so you know we've got the field of view slightly expanding as we. Um, as we drive faster and when we brake it um, narrows down again um, we can look around with Q and E again you can adjust these angles uh, and the speed at which this happens uh, completely so that's uh, that's up to you um, but yeah it's a nice little uh, nice little extra to make sure it, uh, it works properly um, so yeah pretty uh, pretty awesome so yeah, like I said, uh, a couple of changes, um, but actually uh, quite a lot of uh, changes in the core system um, of how the uh, camera, uh, uh, how the car controller actually works. Um, it feels a lot better. It, you know, this is how it should be. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good update. Um, keep in mind that this is replacing the demo scene. So. Um, if you uh, are working off that demo scene, make sure to duplicate it before you import the uh, import the update. Put it somewhere else, um, and if you don't mind, then uh, yeah, it's going to override that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.